Hello, this is Brian Lysing with Financial Brokerage and I've got an idea today that can really help grow your business. See, many of you are not aware of how laid back underwriting is these days when it comes to marijuana usage. Now, that's getting to be a bigger and bigger deal every year. Here in early 2019, 10 states plus the District of Columbia have legalized recreational marijuana. 23 other states have legalized medical marijuana. Now there's only 17 states left that have done nothing to legalize marijuana at the state level at this point in time, but we can certainly see what the trends are and where this is going. Now what does that mean for you? Well, you're gonna come across more and more clients who are using marijuana and admitting to that usage. Now that doesn't rule them out for life insurance from an underwriting perspective. You just have to know which carriers to use and which to avoid. You see, some companies will still decline your clients for admitted marijuana usage or if they find that uh, in the lab work. Other companies will treat those clients as smokers where they're, they're using uh, a smoked, smokable version or an edible. Some companies, however, will call those clients non-smokers and even the very best rate classes. Well, how loose is this underwriting exactly? What does it take to get those rate classes? Uh, there's a couple companies that will allow marijuana usage up to three times per week and still offer a non-smoker rate. Uh, there's others that allow usage up to twice a week and they'll still offer a preferred rate to your client. So it really depends on how often your client is uh, using marijuana and then uh, what's going to show up in their system. So make sure you're not losing these clients in the weeds. We want to make sure we reach out to everybody. Call us at Financial Brokerage for the full details.